Thank you for attending our Kicking It Old School Classroom series. I'm Bryna Davis at internationalstudent.com, and today we're going to be comparing the difference between a private and a public school. Now, the very first thing that you're going to want to keep in mind when comparing these is where the funding is coming from for these two different kinds of institutions. And the reason that this is important is because it's going to have a direct impact on your out-of-pocket expense. So, first of all, at a public school, Public schools receive state funding, so what this means for you is that you'll have less out-of-pocket expense, meaning less tuition to pay. At a private school, they do not receive state funding. They pretty much rely on donors, which are typically alumni, and your tuition. So this might mean that you have a higher out-of-pocket expense to pay, but if you're really interested in a private school, before you write it off, go to the school's website or give them a call and see what kind of scholarships or grant packages they have to offer because typically they're fairly good at providing those to students who are interested. Next, we have class size and degree options. So public schools are typically larger, so they're going to have larger class sizes. Now what this means is you're not going to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with a professor more often than not, and typically you're not gonna be able to know the first name of each of your fellow students in your class. But on the flip side, this means that you'll have more degree options, so you'll really be able to find that degree that you're after and pursue it. Private schools, on the other hand, they typically have smaller class sizes, so if you do want that one-on-one -on -one relationship with professors, then private schools are a great option. However, they typically do have less degree options for students to choose from. Now third, we have the social aspects. And the reason that this is so important is because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, you're studying abroad, and it should focus just as much on the social aspect as the academic aspect. So, looking at public schools, it's going to be a larger campus as we discussed, so it might feel more like a town. Um, if you do not want this kind of environment, then you might not want to attend a public school. However, it typically, they typically have more activities that they offer. So they'll have intramural sports, they'll have all kinds of hobbies and clubs that you can pursue. So if you have a more obscure activity that you're interested, interested in, perhaps like fencing or bowling, then a public school might be a good option for you. However, a private school, typically they're going to have less activities available to students, but they do offer a more tight-knit feel. So if you want to be able to walk around campus and recognize everyone or maybe even know most of the individuals by first name, then a private school is going to be a good option for you. Last, we have religious affiliation. Now, if you want to attend a school that has a religious affiliation, then a private school is going to be a good option for you. Just keep in mind that just because it does have a religious affiliation, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be embedded in the culture. So what that means is you might not actively see people practicing that religion. However, the school might sometimes require students to take a few religion classes. So those are a few different options that you will want to keep in mind when considering private versus public school, and it will help you narrow down what school is going to be the best option for you. Now, if you want to see what schools are in the U.S. for you to choose from, both private and public, you can go to internationalstudent.com. There you can go to our school search and find all the schools in the U.S. and find the best school for you. Class dismissed.